What did I learn from two weeks of experimenting with polyphasic sleeping? For starters, my sole purpose was to access more time for an activity I deemed worthy of doing. Now, I will start with, this is maybe my fifth time attempting to do something like this, and most of my attempts lasted a day or two at best, maybe three, four days, and they were miserable experiences. You know, I would try and push myself for video games, uh, you know, more time to spend to play games. Uh, I would try and push myself and be like, I got to read books. I got to do push-ups. I got to do... I had all of these things that I was trying to push myself to do. Um, what I find interesting is the trigger that finally got me there was having more quality time to spend with my partner. And what I've noticed in the last two weeks the most is that when we have enough quality time spent together, we've kind of got a feel for when we're there. It's hard to, to describe that because there's, there's no like meter of enough quality time spent together. A as we've spent time together, as we've managed to hack more time into our days, when necessary, you know, staying up till midnight to hang out and enjoy each other's company to only have to wake up at five in the morning. We've figured out where we need that and where we need rest. And sometimes those don't line up, you know, sometimes we need rest when we still need some quality time. And that's when we get creative you know that's when the naps start to mix it up that's when those 20 minute naps become important but even more important that's when we start finding time to like really nap whether it be her going back to bed for a few hours before heading to work me crashing for a few hours while i'm waiting for her to get home or even a weekend crash where you know we spend a day just napping away, you know, we might wake up, do breakfast, watch a little bit of TV episode or two, and just crash for hours, you know, it's almost lunchtime as we're falling asleep noon, and next thing we know, it's seven o'clock at night. And I've found that it's a 100% worth it this time that didn't feel like a horrid experience. It didn't feel like something I didn't enjoy. I have enjoyed every moment of the last two weeks. This has been a wonderful experiment. I look forward to reaching a point in my life where being productive, being more productive gives me access to just more money in general and gets me to a point where I can get more quality time and f make more quality space to spend with my partner as well as the other passions in my life. Just by making enough money to not need to work more hours. You know, when you're working an hourly job, that's one of the trickiest parts. If you're not working a tip job, especially these tip jobs, you start to really perform. You oftentimes will see a money increase because your performance is just that good. If you are really performing, if you're just working a regular hourly job, you might get raises. But, you know, going from 19 to even $30 an hour really you know, that's not going to be what gets you to the point where you can now work 20 hour work weeks and spend that extra 20 hours with your partner doing whatever it is that you want to do. So I look forward to that. And in the meantime, these sleep patterns 
this experiment to access more quality time together with my partner has been a major success. It has, I think, really strengthened the bond between me and my partner. It's kind of shown us what we're capable of. It has helped us work together as a team to really figure out what needs to be done where. Um, it has helped in a weird roundabout way, which makes almost no sense, given that we've been, you know, at times sleeping less. Sometimes we sleep, you know, more, especially that day we slept seven hours in the middle of the day. We're feeling more rested and less burnt out. We were really getting to the point where there was just so much to do, so much to deal with, and we were away from the house for so long and would have just like an hour to spend together that we were getting overwhelmed, especially because, you know, if the person, whether it was me or her, didn't get done what needed to get done on one of the two days we had to spend together, when we were not spending any time together throughout the week, we were just exhausted. By the end of the week, every week, we were exhausted. And having this extra time throughout the week, through the five days that we're stuck out of the house, a combined total between the two of us, I think like something like 16, 17 hours, it's ridiculous. Now we have more time in those days, more quality time to be able to keep up with the work around the house, the chores, you know, going grocery shopping, uh, dishes, laundry, all that good stuff, and actually be able to work together to get this stuff done and still have time to spend together. And then when we really needed it, we've had that quality time to rest together as well. So... Major success, I, you know, I would highly recommend anybody who feels like they want more time with their significant other, especially if you work awkward work schedules where you guys aren't working at the same times and are working, you know, mixed matched schedules. I, I strongly recommend giving this a try. It, it, it might be rough at first. You might not like it. Um, you know, 20 minute naps are pretty hard. It's I've, I've found it easier, especially with a partner, to do longer naps. You know, it's nice. You can cuddle. You can get to wake up with one another. It's hard to want to get out of bed when you're cuddling with somebody. So those 20 minute naps, I think, were tough with a partner. But either way, more quality time together, more stuff done. Um, more time to have the conversation about w what you each value getting done so you can work towards it together. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to hearing about your polyphasic sleeping journeys.